You're probably aware of the climate change debate surrounding increases in global temperatures over the last half century. However, the debate is not about whether the Earth is warming or not. In fact, we have over 150 years of observed evidence showing us we're experiencing one of the most dramatic increases in temperature in human history. The debate is really about why this is happening. There are actually three major hypotheses as to why the Earth might be warming. The first attributes the warming to exchange of heat from the oceans into the atmosphere and across the world's surfaces. We'll refer to this as natural variability. The second hypothesis attributes the warming to external sources outside of the Earth's atmosphere, either due to an increase in solar radiation or even a raining of galactic rays from the universe. We'll refer to this as the alternate forcing hypothesis. The third hypothesis attributes the warming to the accumulation of heat-trapping gases in the atmosphere, such as CO2, arising from human activity. We'll refer to this one as the human-induced climate change hypothesis. Now, in order to talk about why the Earth is warming, we're not going to look at the Earth's surface temperatures. Instead, we're going to look at the temperatures of the interior ocean. And that's because nearly 95% of the heat being added to the environment over the last half century is going into the oceans itself. Well, here is a graph depicting the observed increase in temperatures over the last 50 years. If the natural variability hypothesis were true, this is how the ocean temperatures would have evolved over the last 50 years. We can see that they would be much, much lower than they currently are. Indeed, we can show that only 10% of the warming that's occurred over the last 50 years could have been the result of natural variability. Now let's test the alternate forcing hypothesis. The problem with testing this hypothesis is that there are innumerable ways we could add extra heat to the environment, but we don't know the specifics well enough to determine how much heat they might add. So we took a different tag. We decided to ask, what would the ocean temperatures be if there was some hypothetical unknown source of heat in addition to the heat being added by the increased concentrations of greenhouse gases, which we can actually quantify quite well. Under the alternate forcing hypothesis, this is how the ocean temperatures would have evolved over the last 50 years. Again, we can see they would be quite different and much warmer than they currently are. In fact, we can show that less than 15% of the warming of the Earth over the last 50 years is attributable to some unknown source of heat. Finally, we can look at the human-induced climate change hypothesis. As you can see, when we compare the three hypotheses side by side, only one of them is supported by the evidence. And that is that global warming is caused by the accumulation of heat-trapping gases in the atmosphere resulting from human activity here on Earth. And the theory of human-induced climate change suggests that if we continue to increase our emissions of heat-trapping gases at the rate we've been doing over the last half century, by the end of this century, our planet is going to be warmer than it's been in the last one million years.